known Clara Adams Ender for many, many years. Uh, I was the chief nurse of the 8th Medical Brigade in Fort Hamilton when she was the chief of the Army Nurse Corps. And so we had many, many contacts and uh, we got to know one another very, very well. And I've grown to know, love and respect her for all that she has done for the nursing profession. Clara Adams Ender is a woman of firsts. She was the first woman in the United States Army to qualify for and earn the field medical badge. In 19, that was in 1967. And in 1975, she was the first African-American nurse to attend the United States Army Command and General Staff College. In 1991, she was the first nurse in Army history to remain on active duty following her tenure as Chief of the Army Nurse Corps. The jewel in the crown of her career was her assignment as the commander of, uh, the first nurse to be assigned as the commander of a major army base. And that army base was Fort Belfort in Virginia. She uh, was commanding at a time when their operating budget was $90 million with a construction budget of $940 million. And I think these achievements really speak uh, uniquely to her uniqueness as a professional, as a soldier, as a, a woman of color, and as a nurse. She is certainly a woman for all seasons. Clara is a very uh, charismatic, knowledgeable, and um, inspiring leader and speaker. And uh, few people ever leave her presence without acknowledging those attributes and having felt uh, touched by her presence. She's very able. She is a very able individual with regard to mentoring others, to bring others uh, up into the profession, so to speak, and to uh, and really, she is a role model for people who really want to emulate her very fine qualities. Clara has advanced the profession of nursing through her writing and through her speaking. She continues to be a role model for, for many individuals, current leaders, past leaders, and certainly future leaders. I can recall when I was the executive director of the National Student Nurses Association, the students would flock around her when she spoke at a convention, and they were so enamored of her and of her whole approach to not only the situations about which she spoke, but to her as an individual. They could relate to her uh, in spite of the fact that she was a general who held uh, the uh, highest position one could hold in the Army Nurse Corps at that particular time in history. Uh, Clara's passion for nursing is so obvious to the entire community of not only academe, but the entire professional community. I would be remiss if I didn't say that she is the recipient of 14 honorary doctorates. That in itself speaks volumes to the contribution that she has made to nursing and continues to make. And uh, the profession is fortunate to have her. She is a giant to have her not only as, a, as one of our members, but as a member of this academy, and certainly as a living legend of the academy. In closing, I can't think of anyone more deserving of this honor, and I am so proud to be numbered among her, or to have her numbered among us as a member of this profession.